What's up? This is Kenny Mason, and you're tuned in to Ones to Watch. Uh, he is a dog that became a real human. <laughs> he, uh, he's an artist, bro. Uh, just a human being trying to express himself and talking in third person. Hell nah, those are never getting released. They they got they got me here, but they never getting released. They, that's that's for me to fucking cringe at. Um, I'm pretty fucking boring, so I just wake up. Um, I try to exercise, maybe not, but most of the days I try to. Um, bro, I play the game and then I record, and then I just cycle between playing the game and recording. PlayStation in studio all day. My studio at my house, so I just be at home. I stay in the fucking house, bro. <laughs> it's too much crazy shit going on out here. I stay my ass in the house. Uh, I play Grand Theft Auto mostly, but I just got that new Ratchet and Clank game. And I really, really like that shit. So I just been playing that shit a whole lot. It's real hard. It's harder than the other ones. So I'm determined to beat it. Hell yeah, I got that PS5. Yeah. Hey, yo, I jugged the fuck. Bro, listen, they was all sold out. God sent me one link on Walmart. And it just popped out of nowhere. And I, I got it in time. And then I refreshed it. It was gone. I was like, bro, thank God I bought that shit. God was looking out. Um, Atlanta's a real diverse city. Um, and it's a... It's a hub for black creatives. I, f I feel like it is the hub for black creatives. So that gave me a lot of confidence as a black creative. And it also diversified my palette of things I like. It's a big punk scene in Atlanta. People, most people don't know about. It's a lot of like fusion jazz, like a bunch of different types of genres, as well as trap. So growing up being influenced by all of that different alternative uh, creativity, it taught me how to have a melting pot for the things I like to create something new. And I love Atlanta for that. And growing up, you know what I'm saying, in the streets of Atlanta made me the man, who, man that I am, you know what I'm saying, overcoming adversity. And all of that goes into my music and just me as a person, and I'm appreciative of it. Oh yeah, outside of rap. One person that I, that I always, not that I forget, but just because it's real person in, personal to me is Frank Ocean, bro. I love Frank Ocean. Like, I think Frank Ocean is a perfect artist. You know what I'm saying? As far as like how he crafts, the quality of, of of how well he crafts his music. So you know, I think he's a huge influence on the mindset of me as far as like how I want to craft my music. Um, everybody know I love Nirvana. Everybody know I love Smashing Pumpkins. Um, Deftones is like one of my favorite bands of all time. The song "Change" by Deftones is probably probably like my favorite song. Like I probably cry every time I hear it. That's my shit. Um, I got a lot of influences, bro, outside of rap. Like, probably, like, more influences outside of rap than in rap. But I love rap to the death. Um, simply put, it's uh, the angel and the demon inside us all. You know, we all got both. We all have the capacity to be both good and evil. You actually can't be one without being the other. And that's just the concept of being human. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's what it means. Just being human. I would tell my younger self, eat healthier, bro. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with me. It's just like, if you do that shit earlier, you're going to feel way better. And be confident, bro. And, like, you're going to get through that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get through that shit. Like, you're going to end up performing at Lollapalooza in front of 2,000 people. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you're going to be good. So keep going. Because my mama beat my ass. <laughs> I love you, mom.